Good evening, YouTube. This is MTP Flyers, and I've been doing a little shopping the past couple days. Uh, first things first, I picked up the new Griffin reveal for the iPhone 4, and uh, a couple other things as you can see here in front of us. So let's go ahead and start off with the new Griffin case, and we'll move this to the side. You guys can get an idea what that is, and got something for the iMac as well. So, first things first, the Griffin reveal. Let me go ahead and move in here a little bit. Heard a lot of good things about this case. Pretty similar design to the bumper, except it does have a shield on the back, or covering on the back, just like the other Griffin reveal for the 3GS and 3G. And I saw it at Best Buy, and I figured, you know what? I've heard so many good things about it. I might as well go ahead and try it out. So, I'm not a huge fan of the bumper case. I feel like it's too flimsy, and it's always hitting my sleep awake button as well as my volume rocker buttons. So, I don't like that case by Apple. So, nothing other than the case in the package, and it is plastic back, which I'm sure will get scratched up over time, but fairly flimsy rubber piece around the edge, but you know what? That'll give you comfort as well as protection, and let's slide the case around the phone and work it around so we can see what we got here. Looks like it's ready to go, and of course, I probably should have cleaned the phone off before I before I put it in. So let's go ahead and take this off and get an idea how easy it is to take off. So there you go. Let's grab the cleaning stuff over here. I apologize. And let's give the phone a once over and clean it up. I did have the Switch Easy Nude on there and I have some thoughts on that. Something occurred today and I was like, hmm, this is not good. So we will go ahead and get into that for the review coming up shortly. And let's clean in here again. There was no flashing in here when I started, so we know that that's uh, how dirty the phone was. All right, now that we're cleaned up, let's go ahead and try this one more time. Line that up, get that around the edges. It looks like it's pretty good. All right, so a little better, and uh, got my thumbprints all over that. So let's clean the back up, and it looks good. Your back is protected. Camera, well, let's go ahead and move it around. It does move a bit to get it in place. So the camera is lined up. I'm interested to see how that will take pictures. The volume rockers or buttons are covered. Easy access to the sleep awake button. Sleep awake, I'm sorry, the vibrate switch. Sleep awake button is covered. Of course, your headphone jack is opened. And that's about it. Bottom's cut out pretty nice. And again, I'm noticing that you have to kind of massage it in the position. <laughs> and minimal lay on the table design, but I think enough to, to do what you need to do. But the most important thing is that you're protected. And it's kind of what you're looking for, right? So, at least some people are. Still think, I still think they can be better. But in the meantime, this is a very nice case. The Griffin Reveal, slim fit case they call it. So, the rocket and try it out for a little bit and I'll let you guys know. All right, so, since we are on the iPhone, let's go ahead and get into number two. The Luxa H1 Touch which is a lot similar to the iPad stand that I bought. You guys can go ahead and check that video out after this. I'll go ahead and throw the link in, this, in the underbar. And I was extremely impressed with that stand. And look at that, that just kind of popped out. So here we go. You know what? Let's go ahead and move you guys down here and get a different angle of this. There we go. One more, one more, there we go. Vicky's up a little bit there. All right. So, again, a lot similar 
to the iPad case or uh, stand that I have. And what's so nice about this is it is adjustable to the feet of the phone, whatever footprint you have there, depending on the case that you got. Of course, they have the protector piece of coverage there. And I don't know what I just said. So you can go ahead and grip the phone around it. It has a place to sit. You can move it up and down. You can spin it sideways. And being smaller, it gives you a, a, it's a lot easier to uh, maneuver around than like the iPad. You need both hands. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just kind of give you an idea. This is got some protect or uh, rubber feet, or not even feet. It's like a rubber band around the bottom, which is nice, which gives it a nice grip. So when you spin the phone, you just you know just need to steady your hand on there, and then it'll spin around. It does not spin very easily. It's a nice, it's a nice, firm feeling. You can go ahead and pick that up and show it around there, spin it around, and again, if you have a case on there, you know you can go ahead and make that as big as you need to. And when you get it out, you can just spread those apart, and you're all set. So, I wanted to buy this. I thought this was a neat case or a holder. And I think it's going to be perfect if I, you know, decide to show you guys some apps and stuff like that. So I just, I don't like having the one hand holding it and the other one trying to, you know, do what we need to do. If we can just have a place where it stays. And you know what? I really do like this. So it's got a real good quality build design on the back here, as you can see. And everything's aluminum. Nice and... uh not too heavy, but heavy enough, I think, that uh, it'll do a good job holding the phone up. And I just think it's a really quality piece of, uh, you know, material that will, will do a great job for you. So, not much more to say about that other than, you know, just using it and letting you guys know what I think. So, that is that. And we'll go ahead and move on to the third and final item in my shopping spree for today. Everything here was bought at Micro Center except for the Griffin reveal which I got at Best Buy. So last but not least the i360 as it's called. Carlos has this and I've seen it over his house. I saw the video when he did it. I was like wow. I was like I gotta get this when I get my eye when I get my iMac and I just never thought about it, you know, didn't really necessarily think it would be in a store for me to pick up, so just kind of forgot about it. Well, here it is. Found it at Micro Center. Place never ceases to amaze me about what they have for uh, Apple stuff, so. And what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to install this with you guys here, so we'll end up changing the camera angle to do that. Now, it does state that it is for the 21 and 24 inch. Granted, this has been out, uh, you know, long before the 28, 7 inch come out. So I'm, I'm assuming, whoops, well, that's not good, is it? <laughs> well, that's a big fat bag of fail. So I just kind of popped out. I'll have to get some crazy glue and drop that in there. Uh-oh, looks like my TV decided to, uh, unpause my movie that I was watching. All right, so here it is. Here is the spinner, which will allow me to move the iMac around. Basically, for me, it's to have access to the back, to the wires in the back, if I ever need to unplug something or move something around. And I just find it much easier to have this as opposed to, you know, spinning it on the desk all the time and pulling everything every which way but it's supposed to. And let's go ahead and show you guys how this installs. Pretty basic. You're going to slide the base of the iMac in there and uh, this piece will go on the back. It will easily fit around it. Put the bolt in and you're set. Ooh, look at all the other stuff they have here. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So let me switch you guys over to the iMac which is over there. Okay guys, so here I am. Goatee. Back. Yeah! I'm just growing it for a reason, so I'll tell you guys shortly. Back of the iMac here, and what we want to do is pick it up and slide it into the slot here on 
the i360 or it's called rain the rain design so it's kind of heavy so i turned everything off and unplugged everything and this is my 12 south shelf back here which actually works out pretty well for me and she is a little bit loose right now so i probably need to tighten that up a little bit so let's go ahead and pick this up and try to without wrecking anything slide the base in and we'll see what we got so there we go and slide that in and it doesn't seem to want to go you know what it doesn't fit hmm I guess I should have uh, listened when it said 21 and 24, huh? All right, well, I fail. That's not gonna work. I wonder if they uh, have a larger one on uh, on their site. So I have a 21 or 24 that we're gonna give away. <laughs> oh well, that's my fault. I didn't think it'd be any different. The bases would be any different on that. I stand corrected. So, big fail on my part, huh? Oh well. All right, so. How it's supposed to work is <laughs> you have the base slid in here and you can spin the monitor around. But, oh well, what are you going to do? I guess I could, uh, oh, let me go ahead and just screw in here. I don't think, I could always just kind of leave it on top here for now, huh? And that'll allow me room to spin that any which way I want to, to the wall. So we'll leave it like that for now. But the whole idea is for it to be, <laughs> is for it to be actually inside. So we'll see if they've got another one. I'll email the company or whatnot. So there we go for now. It's working, it'll stay on there, but you know, it's pretty nice. You can easily move it with your finger, but you know, most important is I have access. You know, of course, it would be this way, but I have better access to my wires back here, so. Eesh. Oh well. All right, guys, that's it for me. But what I'm super excited about and what I really went to the store for today was, was this bad boy. And as you can see back in the corner, I got all my wires hanging on it is the iPad version. So I've got the the mommy and the daddy or the well, mommy and the daddy. The daddy and the kid. <laughs> it's a small mom. So there you go. And there's the case. Griffin reveal. So guys, this is MTP Flyers for a mini fail, sort of. I guess we could use it that way, but I really want to get the one that'll fit if they have one for it anyway. So you guys have a great night and I will talk to you later. See ya! Jackass!